So today I'm going to be teaching you how to tack so that when you weld over it, you can't even tell it's there. Let's get to it. Today I use the Invertec 221 and I had it set up at 220 amps. AC's on. My frequency for tacking, I turn it as high as it'll go 200 amps because the higher your frequency when you're tacking or welding, the smaller your bead's going to be. So I tack as small as I can. So with this, it's 200 hertz. And then I turn it down to around 90 hertz for outside corners. I like 90 because it's a little more focused, but it still rounds the outside corners really nice. I usually change my frequency uh, to the weld joint. So for fillets, I'll use 200 hertz. That seems to work really nice for it. It gets in there nice and tight. For um, butt welds, I use uh, 120 hertz and then 90 for outside corners. And um, it seems to work real nice. Oh, and lap welds, I use 120 also. Um, my balance set to around 70. So what I have this set up for now is actually I got my um, EN negative set to 70. The reason I like it is because if I set my EP lower, like most people say to, your tungsten erodes super quick. But if I set my um, electrode negative lower, for some reason my tungsten lasts a lot longer, real sharp. So that's why I changed that and also it leaves like one of the shiniest welds ever for some reason. The problem is, is you're basically giving up 30% of your amps. So after my initial tacking of the edges, if I'm doing a piece like this, I'll beef up the edges like I did here, because that's where you usually need uh, more filler and that's where you start and stop. So it's a lot less noticeable uh, to have more filler there. Um, and then in between, this is eighth inch, so normally I don't put a tack in the middle unless it's, you know, maybe every six inches. Uh, I kind of just go by the way I feel, or feel. Uh, if you don't put a tack in the center on something like this long, it will start to sink in. So usually it's like this piece or this piece will suck under the other to where it's almost flat, especially you got like a 12 inch piece it'll uh, do that and if it's any longer sometimes they'll actually gap out wider as you weld. So I don't like to use filler and on 5000 series material like this is you don't have to use filler to um, tack it together. Actually I know some people that weld it without a uh, whole nother discussion but anyways if it's 5000 series it doesn't crack out so it's good enough to tack like that and then this little tack right here is at the start so that if like you're building something complex or something that has multiple things tacked on it when you light up here it's gonna want to separate and pop that either out or in so a way to keep that from happening is go in about an inch and make another tack and when I tack without filler I do little drag welds or I'll bump the pedal a couple times like womp 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 and just enough to roll the corners and um, so that it'll stay there. So this is how most people end up tacking is just filler on the ends and filler in the center. The reason I don't like this is when you get done and you look down it after you've welded every like six inches wherever you put a tack you'll see this bump bump the whole way down the part so it kind of like really throws you off so that's why I like to do this way is after you're done you can't tell where it's been tacked and it just looks like one smooth long weld
so this is the one where in the middle we had a beefed up tack with filler and then we beefed up the edges and as you can see I know exactly where I tacked it because of that big beefy one standing out over the rest this one this one was the one where we didn't add filler we just did little drag tacks beefed up the edges and then a little drag tack out of the start and let's see autofocus come on can't tell where the tacks were Alright guys, hopefully that helps you out when you're doing long runs of aluminum, especially on 5052. Uh, this technique doesn't work the best on 6061. It can work, but you're better off using a real thin filler of like 5356 or 4043, whatever filler you're using, a thin one like a 1 16th, and just put a small little dab in there, uh, but like over, you know, a little stitch weld basically. Uh, that seems to help a lot when I'm doing 6061. Uh, if this video helped you, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about it, just write them in the comments. I'm trying to get back to them. I've just been slammed with this remodel we're doing. Um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my new videos whenever they come out. And you guys have a good one. Oh, and uh, thanks Mark for the hat. Winchester Metalworks. Check them out on Instagram.